Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to LGS. I know it's been a minute. I've been really busy. Really sorry. Okay, so as you read in my description, I am going to be reviewing a full face of Milani makeup today. Bought it with my PC points. Everybody in Canada will understand that. I only paid $12 and change because, you know, we had to pay the taxes. But, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing on this video today. But before we do, I have to give a shout out to a small YouTuber. Got my bag. Hold on. I got to get something. And I just want to say I got my first postcard today. So excited. All right. So we're going to do the, the shout out to, they look at this, the eyeshadow thingy is on the bag. For those of you who are new, if you are a small YouTuber and you want to shout out right here in the comment down below this video or on my um, small YouTuber video, I'll put it at the end of this video that you want to shout out if you are a small YouTuber and where you're from. And every time I upload a new video, I will be giving somebody a shout out. There's all your names and I just dropped, hold on, I just dropped. I just dropped it on my lap. Let's close it again. Shake it up. And who's getting a shout out today? It is... Oh my God, this is so funny. Shining Star Group. Hold on. If this is... It is. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny. Because I got my first card today. Um, for everyone who has Instagram, Twitter, YouTube any kind of social media, you're trying to get more followers, send me a picture or a postcard. Not a nudie. Please, no nudies. My address is in the description um, below, and I'll give you a shout out that way as well. Now, I'm going to do something different because my postcard is actually from Shining Star Group and Shining Star Soup. I'm so sorry. She's so sweet. Very small channel. Um, she just started. And that's actually who I pulled out. So I don't think that's fair because I said you're going to get a double shout out. So I'm going to put you back in here because you're getting a shout out here. So go check out her channel. Stunning Star, Shining Star Group. Oh my God. Shining Star Group. And she is so sweet. Wishing you a fantastic day. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm going to stick this up here, but I'm going to pull another YouTuber out out of this bag and put Shining Star Soup back in here because, and hopefully pull her out another day because she just got a shout out from her card. And so this is Maria Luna in Ontario. Shout out to you, Maria, Marina Luna in Ontario. I'm going to post your link down below. Everyone go check out her channel. Here's the new thing. If you are sweet enough to send me a postcard or a picture. A picture could be of your cat, your dog, your kid, a selfie, a new makeup look, scenery, what you cooked, where you live, anything like that, or just a, a little card or a postcard. If you're sweet enough to do that and you know go through the trouble of you know putting the stamp on it and posting it in the mail, I am going to take my goodie bag. So whenever I receive a postcard or a picture, I'm going to shout you out, check out their channel, and then write down your Instagram, and her Instagram is frail2, so I'm going to write that down below as well. So go follow her on Instagram, Shining Star Soup. Follow her channel, um, which is called Shining Star Soup. I finally got that right. She's in Alberta. I'm grabbing three things out of this bag. So whenever you send me a postcard or a picture, I'm going to pull out three things out of this bag. You get to choose which one you want, and I will... S oh my God, something is... Something is making a huge mess in this bag. Hold on. Okay, so this is an estate lipstick, but this is the packaging, so I'll clean that up. But where is that coming from? I don't know. Something in the bag here has gotten loose. I don't know what it is. But anyway, so Shining Star Soup. Let me know if you want this estate lipstick, which is extra. If you want, oh my God, what the heck is in this bag that just went everywhere? Oh Lord, okay, you know what? I don't even want to dig down there right now because I'm going to get my hands filthy. Or you can choose the Marc Anthony Grow Long Anti-Breakage Mask. Um, or the Steve Laurent Lipstick and this, oh my God, is in the shade... Lilac. 
My hands are full of this stuff and I don't know where it came from. Right, because that's how you do it, right there. Lilac, it's a pretty like purplish color. Okay, just remember that I don't know what happened in this bag, but something is broken in here and I don't know what. So let me know which one of the three you want and I'm gonna send that in the mail to you. So yeah, if you wanna pick something out of the goodie bag, send me your picture, your postcard with your Instagram, Twitter, YouTube handle, anything social media handle and um, I will give you a shout out. So everyone go check out their YouTube channels, Shining Star Soup, um, follow her on Instagram, I'll post it down below, as well as Maria Luna, and she is in Ontario. Okay, so this is so cool, thank you, I'm so excited, thank you so much. Okay, um, we're gonna get right into Milani. Right, I'm gonna pull things out and tell you how much it was, and then we're gonna start putting it on my face. So I got the Milani highlighter palette i have been using this these items for almost a week now this highlighter palette is 16.49 and from what i know milani is available pretty much i think around the world it's usually in pharmacy so that's the highlighter very pretty oh my lamb i'm covered so yeah that was 16 16.49 which i thought pharmacy you know like they're not up there with luxury, but okay. What else we got? All right, so we got this eyeshadow palette, which we're going to be using today. And this was um, Pure Passion Eyeshadow Palette. It's $26.99. That's what I mean, like $26.99 at Shoppers? These are the colors. They're very pretty. We're going to put those on today. Then I got the mascara, which is out of the box here, but the mascara is $14.49. I mean, really? I mean, I know this is at Shoppers, but hey, I went to Walmart and the prices are just as expensive. So this is the mascara here. Throw that back in the box. Um, what do we got here? We got a beautiful lipstick. I really like this lipstick, actually. Milani lipstick. Very pretty color. How much were you? How much are you? Okay, $7.99. We got the eye um, shadow topper. Very pretty. And that is the Hypnotic Lights Eye Topper, $16.49. I mean, that's crazy, right? These were all sold out. Like, they have more colors, all sold out. Oh, I also got Wet n Wild um, Bed of Roses Limited Edition 4 Quad Eyeshadow. Didn't realize I ordered two. So one of these is in my goodie bag, actually. But we're not going to review that today. Yeah, didn't even realize that I did that. But silly me. I got the Maybelline Fit Me blush because Milani was sold out. And the foundation, and it says it's a conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation concealer. This is $14.99. I mean, that's more expensive than L'Oreal, you know? What else I got in here? Oh, lip liner. That's it. Yeah, okay, that's it. And the lip liner was $4.49. So that is everything, right? Yes, that is everything, and the um, Wet n Wild Quad was $13.98, so that is in my goodie drawer. All right, so I already got myself primed. I'm going to do my eyes first. What I have discovered with this eyeshadow is that, honey, you want to put some powder on because there is fallout, and I'm telling you, I have to remember to do this, you know, because when I try a new eyeshadow palette or just an eyeshadow and I've never tried it before, I swear to God, I just get shimmer and glitter all over my face. So, I mean, there's a couple of palettes that I know I'm good, you know, that I really like, like some of my color pops that I don't have to worry about doing this. But for those of you who are new, you know, a beginner on our journey like me, put the powder on your face. Whenever you try a new eyeshadow palette, do your eyes first, and I was always I do my face first, but I've, I'm learning that I really need to do my eyes first because if not, that stuff is just going all over my face, and that's what I've been learning. Okay, we're going right in. Oh my God, and you know what else I have to do? I have to wash my brushes again. Great, Lisa needs to buy a brush. I need a brush. See, I'm usually sort of kind of organized and would have all this out in front of me, but not today. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this color to set my um, primer, which I don't have on my eyes yet. This color, and then I'm going to go in with this color right here and in the crease and transition and maybe this one at the outer corner. And then I think I'm going to go in with one of these shimmers up here. Okay, there's probably names, but I don't know. See what I did? I forgot to put on my eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to try to do this. Oh my God, this won't come out. Ooh. I'm using the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer, which I probably should have just used my Tarte because I usually always use the Tarte Concealer. And look, that is sticking on my eyelid, which, oh, seriously, seriously, already, already, problems already. Guys, it is Tuesday. How is your week going? Oh my God. So my daughter, last night we had to take her to a walk-in clinic, my oldest one, because we think she might have strep throat. So we're waiting for those results to come back. But she had it once before. We had no idea it was strep throat the first time and only time she had it. So, you know, she kept on saying that her throat was sore and we're like, okay, well, take some, you know, throat medicine and giving her hauls, you know, stuff like that to soothe her throat. And I was working night shift at the time. And I remember it was Thursday and I was going to work and she's like, mommy, my throat's really sore. I'm like, okay, we'll take you to the walk-in tomorrow. When I got home the next morning and I looked at her and then I looked in her throat and it was like what she had lived through that night. I swear to God, for the rest of my life, I will hate myself. Oh, I can't imagine what she went through that night. Her throat was just, it looked like it was on fire. So we took her to um, the doctor and they're like, yeah, she got strep throat. So she was feeling okay like a few hours later once she got the antibiotics. But we just thought it was just, you know, a normal sore throat. Like she was getting a cold, you know. My poor child. I'll never forgive myself for that, you know. Never, because none of my kids, they never had strep throat before. So, you know, she's like, she got a sore throat. Okay, you're coming down with a cold. All right. So I'm just going in with this shade here. So, yeah, that's what we had to do last night. So we got her some medicine. But the doctor was like, he didn't really know for sure if it was strep yet because it was just at the beginning. And I think because of her having it that one time, she kind of freaks out now whenever she gets a sore throat. So we always got to get her tested right away. But yeah, that was my night last night. My God, have you guys seen what's all over the beauty channels today about Jeffree Star? Isn't that awful? Like, isn't that awful? Somebody went in and broke into his warehouse and stole like, all his um, one shade of his concealer, some more of his, you know, makeup, I think highlighters and some lipsticks or lip liners or something like that. That is just awful. You know what I mean? And I know, like, some people are like, well, yeah, it's okay. He can afford it. He got insurance, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Other people, he employs thousands of people. You know what I mean? Like, at least three to 5,000 people, probably, I would say he employs. I'm sure he said it on that video with, um, what's his name? Shane, I think that was his name. Seriously, though, you know? And the fact that it was inside job. Some, somebody, wow, that's awfully dark, eh? Ooh, ooh, don't know what I'm doing. Somebody that he works, who, who works for him, you know, knew when it was a perfect time to attack and make the best of it. People are like posting it all over social media. How stupid is that, you know? I hope they all get caught and go to jail. And you know what I hope? There is a lot of fallout with this eyeshadow palette. Let me tell you, it is all over the place. I hope, God, what am I looking for here? I hope that the people who are trying to sell, or I'm hoping that people will report. You know, if you see on a Facebook or some kind of a buy and sell app or something like that, his concealer and stuff, and you know that it's not out. I'm hoping people will report that, you know what I mean? Like. Especially if that person's, you know, like, oh, I got a thousand of these. Because apparently it was like thousands that they stole. You know? How terrible. I just put some um, tar concealer right here. 
just so I could, where's the brush I was using right here? Put that shimmer on. I find this eyeshadow palette, I mean, it blends well, it's not patchy, but there's fallout. And the shimmer, I have to go in with my finger because there is so much fallout on the shimmer, like it legit goes all over your face. So you're gonna want the powder on when you go in with that shimmer, it gets everywhere. Very pretty colors though. But you know, I don't know if you're like me, I don't mind a little bit of fallout, but see, look, oh, it's right there. When it's a lot, it irritates me. I get irritated when it's a lot of fallout because I have to go through all this powder thing. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's that. And then I'm gonna use this topper and just put a little bit, bit of this in the middle. Now I like this topper. I wish they had other colors, but oh my God, they were like sold out like crazy. So this is like a, a dupe for um, the Stella or Stila, if that's what you call it. It's a dupe for that. Some of these items are new. Like, I think the foundation is new. Um, they have a really nice blush, apparently, but that was all sold out. And even at Walmart, it was all sold out, and there was three. There was, like, a three in a pack, and they were still, like, freaking expensive for drugstore. I couldn't believe it. Like, 16-something. Even the um, Milani eyeshadow primer was 10 bucks, I think it was. And that was at Walmart, so at Shoppers is probably a little bit more, but just a little bit. Just dabbing that on with my finger. But still, for drugstore, you know, I didn't expect it to be as expensive as it was. Because you know, some of these items are more expensive than L'Oreal, you know, and Maybelline. All right, what do you think? That's my little bitty look today. What did I want to tell you? Oh, so Milani is owned by um, a brother and sister. And apparently they owned a company before then called Jordash, I think it was. I have to look at my notes. Something like that. And they went to Milan, Italy. And that's when they decided that they wanted to open up a new makeup company and called it Milani, Georgiana, that was what their company used to be called. And they designed it for all races, ages, and income levels. And you can get it at Walmart, Kmart, CVS, Walgreens. I'm not sure if you can get this in um, the UK. Can you get Milani in the UK? I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going in with the mascara. What I have learned about the mascara, you want to get the excess off your brush. It's very wet. Do you know what I mean? It's nice. I like the brush. Um, I probably wouldn't go for it a lot. And that's the honest truth. It's a nice mascara, but I mean, still, this was $14. And L'Oreal, you can get on sale at Walmart right now for $6.97. And I find L'Oreal mascara really good, like some of their mascaras. I love L'Oreal, one of my favorite mascaras. And I can actually get it in brown, which is awesome. So, it's not a bad, uh, I just put it right there, you see that? Dum dum. It's not a bad mascara, but you really gotta work with it, take your time with it, and put a lot on. But it did stay on my eyes all day. It didn't, I mean, I wore this and I cleaned my house, so I was sweating like crazy but um, it didn't go down around my eyes. So, I mean, the, it had staying power. Just for the price, you can get, look what I just did. Watch them call it L'Oreal for so much cheaper. All right, we're going in with this foundation. Now, this is the thing about this foundation, okay? This foundation is, the shade is creamy vanilla, and that's, I'm like, creamy vanilla? It's a little bit dark for creamy vanilla, you know? Well, wrong one. Where's my blender? Because I have powder on it. A little bit dark for creamy vanilla, and it makes it kind of orange-like. You see that? Like yellow. 
But I guess as you put it on and you know you want to put on your bronzer and stuff like that, it's not a bad foundation. I wasn't upset about this foundation at all. It's not a bad foundation. Um, I found it a little bit drying, so you want to put on a foundation that's or put on a primer that is hydrating. And it stayed on pretty much all day. So it's not a bad foundation, but and I think you can um, use it as you know if you want a full face or just go lightly which I just did so yeah it's not bad not bad at all I don't know what it would be like if you you know put powder on and you wanted to set your face and this is not it's a medium to full coverage lightweight oil free long wearing water resistant and sweat proof and it did stay on my face because I sweat like a banshee, let me tell you. Okay, we're going to put on some of the highlighter. I'm going to go in with the middle shade. I really like this highlighter. And the thing about this highlighter is you can also use this quad. You know, use it for eyeshadow shimmer. So it's nice. You see that? It's not bad shimmer. What I did find with the highlighter, though, after you put it on, go in with your beauty blender and really get it into your skin. Because if you don't, it's like the powder sits on top of your skin. Okay, we're going in with the lip liner. Love this lip liner. Easy peasy. Nice, creamy. It's just your regular, you know, um, sharpening lip liner. But it went on perfectly creamy. And then we have the lipstick. Love the color of this lipstick. It is... Teddy Bear, B-A-R-E. Yeah, there we go. Here's my look. Not bad, what do you think? So it's not bad, a little rundown. I honestly think you can get an eyeshadow palette a lot cheaper, a lot better. The highlighter is good, like the lipstick, I like the lip liner, the mascara, mm, for the price, get L'Oreal. And the foundation, they're better foundations. Maybelline Fit Me is one of them. And that's it, everyone. What do you think? Let me know. What do you think of my look? Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to send in your stuff. Bye. Have a great day.